Hi, let's talk. My name is Lily. I call myself Oz Lily. I'm Australian. I was born in Australia and I've lived in Austria over 30 years now. I worked at the UN for 10 years for the Division of Nuclear Security at the International Atomic Energy Agency. And before that, and now again, I'm working as a volunteer for the Women's Federation for World Peace, an NGO, Women's Federation for World Peace. Yes, we're going to save the world. Part of saving the world, my vision, is communication. I have always believed that communication is an important part of improving relationships. We want to understand each other. So we need to listen to each other. And it's good if we know how to express ourselves in such a way that our partner can understand us. At the UN, here in Vienna, the member states pay a contribution, actually the UN International Worldwide, the member states pay their membership dues according to their population, their circumstance, their status, their, their, there's a certain formula that determines how much each of the member states contribute. And there are also many programs that have voluntary contributions. For example, the nuclear security program that I was involved in is funded primarily through extra budgetary funds where nations determine since 2001, since 9-11, a number of nations decided to contribute to a nuclear security fund to make the world a more secure place. I'm concerned about making the world a safe and secure place. And I have a lot of ideas about how we can do that. And at the UN, we have people from all over the world because here in Vienna, they try to hire people representing each one of the member states according to their contributions. So it happens sometimes that we have people coming from a country where they have never traveled outside of their country. They have never worked in an English speaking country or even in an English speaking environment. The UN here in Vienna is in Austria where the national language is German, but the working language of the UN is English. We have six, uh, six official languages, English, French, Spanish, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. So in order to work at the UN, each person does have to have a knowledge of English. And if their mother tongue is one of the six official languages, that's even better. Yet many of my colleagues at the UN had English as their second or third or even fourth or fifth language. Some came from one of the other countries where one of the other official languages is spoken. But as the goal is to hire people from all of the member states, there were people there who learned English as a second or third or fourth language. And then living here in Austria, they're expected to also learn to speak German. I've lived here over 30 years and my German is good. Yesterday, I signed up on a free homepage as an English teacher, which focuses primarily on helping 
Austrian students to improve their English for their school report. I've got five children and I raised them all bilingually. My husband is Austrian, so he spoke to them in German and I spoke to them in English. Now at the UN, I noticed many of my colleagues had quite a good knowledge of the English language when it came to writing their reports and I realized there was a need to support in the communication and the expression and the structuring of speeches. Now the speech, there are speech writers working within the organization. And I do remember even when our director general needed some support for some speeches that he was required to give in turbulent times in the history of the IAEF. Now, to cut a long story short, because I have lots of stories that I'd love to share with you. I'd like to offer English conversation. And I'd love to help you with your pronunciation and your presentation. With your sentence structure if necessary. In the description that I gave of myself on this homepage, I mentioned that I have proofread a number of books which were written originally in German translated into English, and I corrected the English. So I have quite a bit of experience. I've got quite a few years under my belt. And now I'm happy to be able to meet with lots of interesting people from all over the place who need to or want to improve their English. That's me, I'm Oz Lily. And I'll be talking to you again very, very shortly.